Page 11, minuet. It's 3-4 time, obviously it's a minuet. They usually are in 3-4 time. Remember this is sort of like a waltz. It's not really a waltz, but it's another type of dance in 3-4 time. One sharp, so it's either in G major or E minor. Well, let's look at the end. At the bottom, you're here. I'm guessing it's in G major. Right hand first. Just make sure you got, now rhythm wise, shouldn't be a problem. It's quarter notes and eighth notes. So let's kind of take it together. So you just got these, you're in this position. Got a problem? Look at the last two measures, second line, you're here. One and two and you got eighth notes there. Third line, you're here, you, you haven't moved, you're still there. Not a problem. Let's go down to the last line, here. You're not moving around at all. The whole piece is in here. Left hand, here. So you're in this position. He's dotted half notes. Remember a dotted half note is the same as three quarter notes. Here it gets three counts. It's the whole measure. And go down to the third line. Now it's an F sharp. Don't forget the F sharps. It's in the key signature. The last line, one. You don't need a fourth finger, then. they don't need to tell you that. You're in this position, you're not moving around. Fourth finger is there, but just do it. I think a lot of these books I've found are a little too helpful with the finger numbers because it's too easy just to read finger numbers and not notes. And I would prefer, really, you don't fall into that trap. Force yourself to read the notes, not the finger numbers. The only time you need a finger number is when you have to move around. Then they can help you out with which finger to use. Here you're not moving at all. You don't you only need finger numbers for the first beat up above, and that's it. Put the hands together here. Not real challenging, I hope. Let's go add the articulation. The Left hand pretty much is legato. Just connect everything, but you got these staccatos in the right hand. I'm going to recommend a nice wrist staccato. Short staccato. Now connect it. Okay, so you got the staccatos and the slurs going on in the right hand. Now watch the last line carefully on the articulation. You have slurs in each hand going. I don't really know why the slur in the left hand is there. It's there. You're going to connect them anyway, so that's fine. Here in the last line, connect all these notes. But in the third measure over, look out in the right hand. You play in the B and then lift up. Before you play the D, it's just a, it's between slurs. Here, here. We, we need, don't connect the B, the B and the D together. Lift up you play that. Dynamic wise we have an F dash P. That's forte dash piano. Loud dash soft. So the first time you play it is loud. That's the right hand. The left hand keep it down to moderately loud. Then when you repeat it, see the repeat sign at the end of the second line? They have a reverse repeat sign at the beginning. That, in my opinion, is unnecessary. You don't need a reverse repeat sign at the beginning of a piece, ever. I've never seen a reason for that. Because the repeat sign, the rule is, you go back to the beginning unless there's a reverse repeat sign in the way. So you're going to go to the beginning anyway. There is no need for a reverse repeat sign there, in my opinion. Anyway, you're going to repeat the first two lines, and when you do, you're going to play it soft. That's the right hand. The left hand has to be very soft. Then you go down to the third line, same thing, F dash P. Here, you do need the reverse repeat sign, because if you didn't have it, that re repeat sign would send you back to the beginning again. Uh, too confusing. So, yes, here we do need it, and so you're going to play the last two lines twice. The piece is actually twice as long as it looks, is what it is. As far as the speed goes, Allegretto is a fun, this is a fun minuet. I, 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 to me, Allegretto is a fun speed. It's, it's between Moderato and Allegro. It's somewhere in there, just...
The thing that might hold you down are the eighth notes. Those have to be even and controlled. If you can't play it that fast and play them even and controlled, slow it down. Don't go beyond that. So whatever your speed is, that's what it is. If you have to speed it, slow it down, then do that. Control and accuracy is more important than speed. So it's what you can play accurate that counts. I'd like to play this with you slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I don't think it'll be a problem. I'd still like to do it. I'm not going to do the dynamics, the louds and softs, but I am going to do all the repeats. So I'll give us three counts, so let's just play it together. One, ready, go. Two, three. 